Every NICU story is different because having a NICU baby can happen to anyone. A NICU stay can be a day, a week, or many months. Some babies do not survive their journeys, but many do. ICU Baby has been privileged to support thousands of NICU families over the years. Here are the stories of Esti and Vena and their courageous families. I went to my 28-week um, appointment, and during the ultrasound, um, it was the first time I realized something might be wrong. The uh, ultrasound tech had asked the doctor to come in, and basically they had found out that she wasn't growing properly. After I dropped my kids off at school, I went to my appointment. As soon as I saw the ultrasound, I was like, mm, like, I think this is it. Um, and so after that, they like immediately sent me to the hospital and scheduled like an emergency C-section for that day. I just remember seeing Esty for a very brief moment. She was just so small and blue, and I just remember her like blending into the doctor's scrubs. My first reaction was just shock. So seeing her in the NICU, um, all plugged in uh, in the incubator. Um, so it was very intense. Uh, her lung collapsed in the first couple days and then she obviously was intubated. So the darkest days, I'd say the hardest days, were definitely in the beginning and then as time progressed uh, over the course of the next few weeks, um, she, her situation started stabilizing. I came into my NICU room uh, to see Esty and there was this like beautiful bag waiting for me filled with a hand crocheted blanket and a beautiful note and a journal which I ended up using almost every day. I had never heard of ICU Baby before and I just remember thinking like, wow, this is so nice. And a few days later, I think I met Leah for the first time from ICU Baby um, and I got a call from Valerie and um, it was just like so wonderful to have people calling to check in on me. So the day we took Esty home from the NICU, uh, it was just delightful to just be able to see her brothers uh, welcome her into kind of the household uh, and just get into a new rhythm and a routine. I lost my first pregnancy due to an ectopic. So once we finally got pregnant again, a year later, we were elated. And we found out that we were pregnant with twins. So <laughs> she was a twin prior to um, everything going on in the second trimester is when we lost the second twin. Going through the second pregnancy after losing the first one, it was really difficult emotionally. And once you become pregnant again, you're just, you have all those fears at the forefront of your mind the entire time. So as happy and grateful as we were to be pregnant, it was very scary the entire time. December 30th, I was at work, we were doing like a little, um, you know, end of the year powwow and she's like, you know, something's wrong, I need to go to the hospital. So I went and picked her up, we went to Mercy and then we never left the hospital. They wanted me to stay in the hospital until I was about 32 to 34 weeks pregnant. That was their goal. However, um, she came at 24 weeks and four days. When Venna was born, she weighed one pound and five ounces. They gave me a quick flash of her as soon as I gave birth to her, and then they whisked her off to the isolate bed. She had cardiomyopathy and a PDA, which means she had two open holes in the vessels leading to her heart. And we actually got a call at 3 a.m. in the morning. I could hear it in her voice, the seriousness. Being woken up at 3 a.m., you know that NICU doesn't do that. Unless they have to. Derek just rushed, rushed us over there. They allowed both of us to come upstairs because they were trying to stabilize her and they ended up coding her and spent about 57 to 58 minutes performing CPR to bring her back. I just hoped and wished in my heart. I like, I wanted her so bad and I believed in her so much that I just I wanted her to make it so bad. Her true healing began on that day when she almost didn't make it. 
she is the one meant to be with us and grow with us and receive all of our love. She's such a magical human being. Every NICU story is different. The need for families to be and feel supported is the same.